rather than big shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people are always like, I want to throw bigger. Well, that takes a lot bigger, of time. Just throw small well. Would you want me to just throw them something small? For no, that's so, okay. okay. We've never seen anything. The process is so, all the same, right? Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. okay. When I start my break. scenery process, I, I pad it. I get it going kind of slow. And I, and I pad it to the center. So I'm centering right now. It makes it a lot easier with a large piece of clay. Because if I try to center a large piece of clay like this, I'm, you know, it's off center and it's hard. So I center. self-center so. so I got my elbow really locked in tight here and that's how that's how I got it to center so well it's not quite centered there is it <laughs> but it wasn't. that's because you pulled off when you went yeah. all the way up so I push it down keep the hand on the outside and let it fill my hand it got a little dry and I'm only putting a little water on it with my hand I'm not sponging water or uh, you know, so I, I limit the water doing that, and you can uh, you can tell when it's dry. And if you don't if you don't get water on it while it's a little dry, you're gonna get a lot around fast. So the secret was to go up before you go down to make it go out, right? Well, I needed it, is what I did, to see, to just make it a little more uniform. I did it, I wedged it on there, but this is, a, that's another way of wedging. You pull it up, push it down, pull it up, push it, it wedges the clay. And this clay is pretty good when it comes out of the box, because it don't have very many air bubbles in, but it can. So now I got center, I'm going to set kind of the size of the base I want, and then I'm going to go from there. And I like that. So when I'm throwing, this will probably get pushed in a little bit more, because I tend to push from the inside up, and it helps. So now when I want to open this, I don't want my finger going all over the place, so I have to steady that finger too. I can't just can't come up here and stick my finger in it. So I come up and I grab something else and I find the center. And I go down and I measure how deep I am and I look out here and that's pretty close. Now at the bottom, I'm going to pull straight across, try to make it level, all the way out, and of course I have to compact the bottom of my pot, actually I should check the depth of my pot at the bottom, just about like that, and that's about what I like. Most people would have it a little thicker. That way they have some more trimming area and stuff. But I, I actually, a lot of my pots I will throw down to about that close. And that way I cut it off the bat and I'm done. I don't even trim it. But on the bigger pieces, you always end up having to trim the sides. So I'm going to compress the top again. Add a little water. So now, 
I got the base where I wanted it. I moved the inside out where about where I need I needed to be. So I'm going to even the walls up on my first pull so they're the same thickness. And that makes it a lot easier all the way through the rest of my pull. Then I'm pushing in, not out. You know, I like to, I don't want to compact my body really better. I always like to compact it really well. So I take my rib and compact it. Makes for a pretty nice bottom flat. Well, welcome to come look anytime. <laughs> you see the bath too. Did I start a bath there? <laughs> so when I wet the inside of my bowl, I run it down my finger and go up and down the bowl. And that way I can tell if it's slick. Then I go on the outside up top and do the same thing. Just put a little water on it. I do another pull, and I'm going to pull this. I'm really pushing it in. It wants to go out anyway, so I'm pushing the bowl in and up. And it'll come up pretty fast this time. Make me an undercut, push. Slow her down. You said that was six pounds of play, right? Yeah, six pounds. I'm not exactly in round right at the moment. So my cylinder is pretty much straight up and down. So I'm going to try to round it a little bit because it got out of whack on me. So I'm going to collar it in with my hands. And so here it is. It's not round. I'm never going to get that lip back to where it needs to be. See how high it is there? So while it's at this state, I got enough clay, I cut the top off. And I'm not used to this wheel. Compress the top. Now being straight up and down as it is, if you come and look, you can, you can see that this is about that wide at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Because I can look straight up and down my pot and I can see my actual thickness of my pot all the way. And that's a nice thing about throwing a cylinder. You can always tell where your pot is and how much you get work you have to do. So I'm holding my finger on the inside, putting a, actually putting my knuckle in there. I'm going to push here again, pick up a little clay, and I'm going to go a little slower this time. I went up a little quick last time. And you're still pushing in? Pushing in. So quit pushing at the top. I left clay up there so I can make a rim or something if I want, split the rim or whatever. Or if I don't, I'll get rid of it. I'll pull it on out. Depends on what, I'm, what I want to do. And I still have about that much clay down at the bottom. So, okay, that's a, that's a cylinder. Uh, and I got enough clay. Do you want to see it opened up into more like a bowl? I think I have enough. Yeah, I got enough clay. Go on. You want to see a bowl? All right, I got the cylinder. Got enough clay. I'm going to clean a little water on the inside. You see I hit the edge? It's not round anymore. Just round it up. Water on the inside all the way down. On the outside all the way down. Clean my bath 
so I didn't throw it on everybody. So now my next poll, I'm going to start outwards. I'm pushing from the inside now. Is that how you thin out the base on the inside? What's that? When you're starting to press from the inside I'm out. Pulling, and I'm pushing from the inside right now. And at the top rim, I'm going to have to pull it out. And this wheel takes off. To get used to one wheel. And so I left enough to do this at the top rim. If I didn't leave a bunch at the top rim, I wouldn't be able to make a bowl out of this because it gets so thin, it just tears itself apart. Well, it gets thinner as you pull it out wider. Yes. So when I pull it, I'm going to compress it. Then I got water at the bottom. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> it's it off. Sticks. That's the one I use. Moisten the inside. Moisten the outside. Lower down, pulling pretty hard. So we're getting there. That's pretty thin right there. I don't know how big, of, big I can make that. I wanted to lay it out a little more, but I'm thin in the middle. Got a half inch or better at the bottom still. That's how I throw things right there. It takes a lot of concentration, really. So I took a little clay out of the bottom and moved it. I tried to make my bottom a little bit more like this. So I I just did this with my my hand. I just kind of arced it up. In the thin spot, I'm just going to really ease by that and not put any uh, compression on it. Even the sides up, take a little slurry off the outside. Gotta have a little water to run my hand. This is you betcha too. I, if I was going to throw a really big bowl, I, I don't always throw it out of you betcha. I've got this other clay of RO14, it's got more grog in it, it makes it easier because it'll hold, hold its shape when it. It'll hold the stresses of the pot. We're getting a bowl. All right, I start sticking on my inside hand here. It's really going to go crazy, so I have to wet that. And we'll finish up the pot.
So the inside of my bowl don't quite look like the outside of my bowl, but that that is fine because when I get to trimming, I'll make it. I'll make them look similar, but I want the inside of my bowl to look good because I can trim the outside of my bowl, right? So I got a new toy the other just yesterday or Friday. I'm gonna try it out. I take take my rib and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to round the bottom without collapsing the pot, which you can do. Straighten my rim up a little here. So if you want to come see what I'm doing here, feel free. So see how I made a nice, nice round slope to that? Mm -hmm. That makes a big difference when you, when you look at a bowl. In the outside I say, see I pushed the outside, see how it's got a bubble there now on the outside? Right here at the bottom? That's fine, I'm going to trim it off, you won't even know it was there. My final thing I would do on this bowl is uh, do the rim. And, and the rim, is, I, I love my rims. If they look good, your bowl's gonna look good. So here's a piece of plastic. I'll show you with it. Just a piece of plastic. I have a, a chamois, but you don't need a chamois. A piece of plastic's fine. Take it, pinch it between my fingers. Come over the lip like this and hold it. That compresses the rim. No cracking or anything. Look at that, isn't that nice? It's a nice smooth rim. So, for aesthetics on this bowl, I would, I like to do just a little rolled rim. So my rolled rim, I just place a finger inside and put my curve that I'd like up against my rim and it'll make a really nice little decorative thing to the bowl. Just a little roll. So at the bottom of the bowl, if you want to do something kind of cool, which I'm, I'm going to have to trim this bowl, but see these ribs you can buy with a little fancy end? I can put a bead on the bottom of this bowl. Oh yeah, it does. Action. When you're pushing it in. So when I did that, I pushed inside my bowl again. So I'm going to have to go in and fix it up. on the side. Anytime you push on the side you can get weird things happening up top. There's a bowl. Oh, wow, great. <laughs>